green lights. <laughs> green. You completely right. Green lights. I know that boy saw me for like three seconds. Ooh. Okay, that dude got some burns. We bout to play 2K. K. Brutal Sim, step back, J. J. Kobe got that clutch, throw it up, that's game. What dope, what dope? It's your boy. You don't know Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked at me with a next tutorial. All tips and tricks video for y'all, man. A bunch of people been asking me what custom jump shot they should use. They getting a lot of trouble shooting, man. So. I'm about to give you all the secrets, man. You all already see how I be out there with my lockdown defender, my slash. You'll be shooting threes like crazy. And my point forward, shooting threes, greens all day, lights out, man. All right? So there's a few secrets I learned while playing this game for all these months, man. I, I don't learn the ins and outs, especially when it comes to shooting. I'm definitely one of the best out there, man, with any archetype. Although I don't like shooting with big man. Let me just clear it up, right? So all right so i got five points that you need to focus on if you want to shoot lights out right the first point is the badges man you need to get these shooting badges um let me show you all the shooting badges that i'm talking about that's most important when it comes to shooting right a lot of people won't uh, mention some of these badges i understand because i think a lot different than a lot of people um let's start off by catch and shoot of course everyone knows this is a must um, corner specialist is a must as well. Deep range dead eye is a must badge that you need. Difficult shot is a must as well. Limitless range, mid range dead eye, um, pick and popper, tireless scorer is a must if you want to shoot. And you got one more badge that no one ever mentions. All right, that's because they probably don't like um, pulling up jump shots on a fast breaking shot. One man fast break is a very effective badge. It gives you a boost, especially when you come down on that fast break and no one picks you up. Yo, I do it with my lockdown defender. I do it with my point forward and I do it with my slasher. All right, and you always see this one man fast break badge pops up and it gives you a, a little extra boost as well, man. All right, so those are the badges. Of course, the catch and shoots, yeah, very important. As I said, um, my second point is the hot spots. It's very important you get these hot spots, y'all. Y'all already know how this game is, man. A lot of people been losing their hot spots out there, and this is showing. I got all the hot spots, but when I'm here and I pick up a ball, you will see I really don't have all the hot spots at this moment because I've been playing some macro, so I lost the hot spots on the left, right. So you gotta know where your hot spots are and these are the points you will focus it's uh, it's it listen to me without hot spots it takes a huge hit your shooting takes a huge hit in this game right so try to shoot from your hot spots um you get a lot more greens by shooting at hot spots believe me not saying you can't get greens by not but you tend to miss a lot of wide open shots when you don't get your hot spots man it's very simple to get your hot spots if you lose them um there are two quick ways right well not really quick there there one there's one quick way if it's before the all-star break or whatever you could ask for a trade and then play a few games you get back your hot spots and the other way is go till the end of the season till the next season right it will reset your um your hot spots and you play a few games you get back your hot spots man i'm sorry so far that's the quickest two ways i know right um let me see what else um the third point is the custom jump shot find yourself a good custom jump shot i'm telling y'all man the first custom jump shot i made is still wet <laughs> right now I, I was putting up to see if they would patch it man all right but look how much custom jump shot i get any day i show up and one isn't working i switch to the next one right and i'm and um another thing right what the custom jump shot for the park does not necessarily work for the pro am right so i usually use this new tool in the pro am and use the twt in the park very effective jump shots green all day man green all day um i'm probably let me, let me show you all the twt what it is this is the one i use in the park edit jump shots yes 
as you see it's a um jump shot 19 as the base i recommend y'all using this jump shot 19 man this has been amazing for me i had to make a different jump shot from a lockdown and this jump shot 19 base is so effective right release um 42 for the release one and release 126 for the release two and it's 25 percent to 75 percent all right max out speed so you all see that's the custom jump shot i use on my point forward a bunch of people was asking me here it is although i did a bit video for it but just a quick you know just to show you all what's going on man um so that's the custom jump shot the fourth point man decision making avoid shooting contested shots people although you can't hit some of those man but make sure make sure man be exam i'm about to hit you up um make sure that whenever you shoot the jump shots it's open so if someone um close out it's gonna be a late close out right i recommend like if you're on the three-point line um shoot if the defender is here like around this area that's a good spot um around here around the key area man use the key as a as a guide man or just outside the key like if you stand on the three-point line and the defender is about this area that's that's would be a good jump shot right there right so the closeout will be late by that time with a quicker release you'll get that shot off and it won't really affect your jump shot man and especially with the deep range dead eye and stuff like that man, you're gonna be hitting in this face all day man all right and another thing if you're not a sharp shooter i recommend you standing as close to the three-point line as possible all right you are going to get some shots here now now that's cool you see the hot spots is still out here now that's cool right there right but as soon as you trying to go sharp shoot the range nah boy nah you're gonna hit one or two but really and truly nah it's gonna be mostly brick i don't care who you are step as close to the three-point line once you're not a sharp shooter as close as possible right so when it comes to the decision that that's all you gotta know man and uh the final point Play with someone who got dimer, y'all. Don't play with people who don't have dimer, who won't contribute to your jump shot. So all these catch and shoot you got. So you're going to get the catch and shoot shoot badge, right? If someone passed you. Especially if you stand in the corner, you got catch and shoot. Then you got um, the dimer kicking in. Then you got the corner specialist. And yo, I'm telling y'all, man, it's going to be greens, bro. It's going to be greens. So it's a lot of decision making um contributing to you to me shooting as um consistent as i do man like whenever i miss while playing in the park it's surprising man i'm mad right whereas um normally in previous okay in certain archetypes you're like ah. but now man i'm telling you, my lockdown is the dead eye shooter get crazy greens my um slasher get crazy greens and i'm going to show you all one more secret man a lot of people came to my lockdown defender and I was criticizing me for this man do y'all check out the shot of the dribble man all right um let me go in here my shot of the dribble at this point is a 70 right I left it at this because I know I don't need it any more higher than this to be quite honest man but it is a lot higher for my slasher because I tend to sh move a lot more with my slasher and most of my shots are not set shots so yeah all right but I know this the shot of the dribble the shot creator type shots drop it man that drops a lot man it drops a lot i get hella greens using this jump shot right here and that's elite 11 of the shot of the move all right very effective very quick high arc um easy to time yo i'm telling y'all equip this jump shot and put up your shot of the dribble and it will improve your player because the, the um the shot close is gonna get boosted as well it's gonna be up there as well right so i hope these tips help you all out man you already know man it's your boy sim if you're first time to my channel like the video share the video hit your boy subscribe if it's not your first time like the video share the video you never know who's gonna help your boy sim one love respect bless racks <laughs>